Hello Tangerinis! I love that name. So I'm deciding still between Tangerinis, Cuties, and Fangerines. How about those names? Those are so cute. You are my beloved subscribers and friends and I just can't wait to call you something really fun. I might just use all three interchangeably. I hope you don't mind. I think it'll be fun to kind of break it up a little bit and use all three terms of endearment. I thought it would be fun to show you how I plan for the month ahead. I've got a bunch of new products that I want to use and I hope you enjoy watching this process. I am using this Get to Work book and I'm just going to do a quick flip through because I have a lot of personal information written in here, but I want to give you an idea of how I've been using it. I really enjoy it. I've been trying to make it look pretty, but obviously in some pages I just can't do that because it's actually working for me. I try to make lists and make it as useful as possible. I'm going to open up this Scarlet Lime Planner Society kit. I love their kits. They're really colorful and fun and they come with pattern papers that are double-sided for scrapbooking, for planners. They have stickers, die cuts, paper clips, little embellishments, a little stamp set as well. The stickers are miniature and so cute, really well designed and fun to use and they come with so many stickers you can use them for months. Alright, so now I am starting with a blank canvas, which I just love. I think that's one of my favorite parts of this Get to Work book, is the fact that I can decorate it using plenty of color because it has a black, white, and gray base. And you can see that it doesn't really show through that bad on the other side when I use ink. So I'm using these Kelly Perky planner stamps, and I want to just make sure I don't have ink around the edges rubbing it off with my finger uh, and stamping this donut for JC's birthday. It's a big birthday month in our household. It's my birthday on the 5th, my mom's birthday on the 21st, and JC's birthday on the 26th. So it's a really big month for us even though I'm not much of a birthday person. I do like to take that time to kind of reflect back on the year and look forward to the year ahead and kind of make some goals for myself. This is a stamp set from my friend who I actually met her when I was in Germany and she puts out these awesome stamp sets that are well designed. I'm going to try to make maker list two different colors and you saw how I just inked it up separately and there it goes. Sorry about the shaking of the tripod. This new watercolor set is my favorite. It's from Jet Pens and I absolutely love it. So I really want to decorate this and make this whole spread as colorful as possible. I had intended on making it very fall feeling at first, but I did want to include this yellow sunshine. So I'm going to show you this neat trick that you can take a simple drinking straw and just blow. And what's so cool about this is that you feel like a kid again. I think that a lot of people have commented that they used to do this in school. I highly recommend just experimenting with it and seeing how much paint and water you feel comfortable with using to get your desired effect. Now I'm just taking my number two brush and just drawing some doodles, basically experimenting with this paintbrush and these watercolors. I love the pop of color, I love how saturated this paint is, and I will do a review only on the watercolors and my Jet Pens haul very soon, so be sure to subscribe so that you can be the first to know when that one comes out as well. So just drawing some leaves and branches, I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go because I want, like I said, to make this feel very October and fall. But then I went a little crazy with the colors, so these brown leaves down here kind of accent uh, this other lighter brown that I wanted to kind of blend. So it's one of those things where I personally love just trying new things, and I hope you feel inspired to as well. The planner is somewhere I feel like I can really dive in and take chances and see how it goes. All right, I'm going to do the straw technique again and look at how cool that looks. So I'm just adding the paint and some water and then just blowing through the straw and it makes those cool splatters. Really fun 
technique that I've used for years after seeing it in a book. I think the book is called Paint Paper. Um, you know what? I'll have to look it up and link it below. It's a really great book and got me inspired to try new things with watercolors and brush script and just really experiment. Sometimes I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves to make everything look perfect that we don't really play around and enjoy that time exploring what we want to just try. And I think that the planners are a great place to really kind of explore and I don't know why I can't think of a different word besides explore really test out those things that you may have wanted to try out. And then if you want to, you can always cover it up with a die cut or a sticker, or you can paint over it. But I think that the days go by so fast, you may as well enjoy them and enjoy the little uh, experimentations and trials that you attempt. I think all the stamp sets that I'm looking at here include a donut. There's one from Kelly, there's one from this brand, Paper Project, I think that's how you say it. And so I'm going to include this one on JC's birthday and kind of part of, of the maker list because he loves donuts. Next, I am going to take this A to indicate the days where I have an assistant coming in to help me. So. Thursdays, I know that she is coming in, basically Tuesdays and Thursdays, but the last of the month I'm going to be in Barcelona, so she won't be here. And I like using a different color, and I probably could have watercolored it in, but Thursdays get a different color than Tuesdays, just because. Sometimes you have no rhyme or reason for the way you decorate your planner. I think the process should be enjoyable, so whatever you're doing to further that creativity is what you should do. Now I'm going to take this clear sticker from my latest sticker sheet with American Crafts and stick it down here and then trim this part off and then take the other por portion, sorry, and now that the sun is dry, I'm going to stick it over here. What's cool about these stickers is that it looks like you've actually watercolored on it and uh, these are actually gold, this gold heart right here that I'm using, but the other ones were created using actual watercolors, and I think it's just a really nice way to accent it and it makes it look like you painted it on because they are clear. Now you have to be careful when you're peeling it off, try not to get the backing. This clothespin is just going to go down here next to maker list. One of the things that I like doing is I enjoy using my supplies. This wasn't always the case because I would kind of hoard things, but I've learned my lesson and I want to use my favorite supplies so that I can look at them on the projects. It'll make me so much happier than having them stashed in a drawer somewhere. This is from the washi tape booklet. Now I made a last minute decision. I peeled this one off and then decided I wanted to cut it in half. It's not the way to do it. I wanted to make it super skinny and put it right underneath the scissors, but that was a lot of energy wasted on doing something that can be so easily done by doing this. When the washi tape is still on the backer, just cut it in half. Then you can simply peel it off and that way you have your skinny strip instead of dancing around like I did and getting it stuck to my fingers. This is what I would recommend doing. These are great to use because they're slightly slimmer and like I said before, I really want to use my supplies but I don't need that whole width necessarily so I'm just cutting it in half and I like the look of the super skinny washi tape anyway. Putting down the colors that I feel are uh, kind of complementary to this layout and also blocking off days where there's multiple things happening. I had to check my Google Calendar, which is something that I definitely depend on as well. This planner pretty much stays in the office. Sometimes it goes with me to meetings, but really I try to take it with, uh, with me very rarely because it is so big. I like to keep it in the studio on my desk, opened up for any notes, these pens are great. I think that somebody had told me in the comments not to use them because they are erasable, they're friction, and they told me not to use them 
on my scrapbook layouts and mini albums because apparently they do eventually disappear or they could disappear and fade. So in the planner, I guess I'm not so worried about it. But although I've had friction pens that I've used for several years now, and I think that the ink is still there. These are rub-ons from my latest collection with American Crafts called Finders Keepers. I love using rub-ons. Speaking of expiration dates, rub-ons in general really should probably have an expiration date. You may have remembered from one of my previous videos that I had tried to use some older rub-ons that were sitting in the sun, in the heat. I mean, they were sitting in a place where I probably get five to six hours of sunlight, and that was not smart. So they had dried out before I got the chance to use them, and that makes me really sad. So use your supplies, especially your rub-ons. They're so fun, and they add such a nice effect. I love the way it looks. I mean, it almost looks like I hand-painted that, but clearly I didn't. So this is a circle that I cut apart and use the diamonds over there and the circle on the left, and I am just going non-stop with these rub-ons because I do want to try to use up the entire sheet if I can just because all the colors are looking so vibrant I like the contrast of the black as well instead of doodling these yourself the rubbing on part actually feels kind of therapeutic and I quite enjoy it so I'm cutting this pink circle and I'm going to put the bottom part here sorry line up the bottom with the bottom of the page and then that way I can use the other part on the side. And I think that these rub-ons are really fun to use. They're already painted for you, doodled on. It kind of reminds me of being a kid. Again, I think that there were some kind of rub-on transfers that I used to use apparently. So I take great pleasure and I find this whole process very relaxing. Okay, so now for die cuts, which are also great to use on planner pages because they just add enough pop and interest and not too much dimension as well. I'm taking this black circle that says make it happen on one side and then hello week on the other. This is the new American Crafts sticky thumb adhesive and I'm loving it. So I'm going to place this down on this side and fold it back over onto the other side. That way it looks good over there too. I love how colorful this whole thing is turning out. I think that as I go through and put these decorations on, it just makes the whole process and writing stuff down, recording memories a lot more fun. So I'm just making sure that I don't have any ink on the edges because I tend to be pretty messy. I sometimes use a baby wipe instead of my finger, which is probably a better choice. These are planner stickers from Kelly Perky and Hero Arts. She had made these just for planners, which is why these little phrases are just so cute and dainty. And that one says business trip. This one here says make it a good day. And I'm going to stamp it again in a lighter shade of blue underneath. And I want it to say make it a good month. So I'm going to cross out day using the erasable pen and then just write in month. So make it a good day, make it a good month. Probably good advice for any month of the year. I really enjoyed this process and I think that it's colorful and fun. It took me probably just over an hour to do this and hopefully at the end of the month I will have this filled up and I can show you what that looks like as well. Well, how much fun was that? I hope you feel inspired to use some of these techniques in your planners and paper projects. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love hearing your comments, so if you have any questions, please leave them below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We are creating more fun videos all the time and I would love for you to be a part of it. All right. Keep on creating. See you soon, cuties. Speaking of cuties, how cute are these earrings? These little puppy earrings. Oh my gosh. I'm ridiculous, I know. Mwah.